Gonna shave with some old favorites today, folks. Hey, it's Friday, time to shave. I took a shower, did my hair. The sun is in and out. It might rain today, we'll see. We're gonna shave today with this. A Gillette 1956 red tip. That means it's more aggressive. They came with, uh, it was a blue one and a black one and uh, I think just a plain silver one and then the red one. The red one, the most aggressive. It's a butterfly one. I've shaved with this a couple of times before and I saw it sitting in my drawer all lonesome and like, why don't you shave with me today? And I said, well, I will. And now here we are. So we're going to, normally I, as you know, probably use a feather blade and everything, but you know, I decided to use a Bic because I always recommend, you know, people are always asking, what, what are your favorite blades? Mine's always a feather, Dorco uh, blades are good and Bic, you know, it's just kind of a solid, you know, go-to. That's what I think. I don't know. I don't know. Your mileage may vary. I always stick to just normal old feathers. You know? You know? I don't know. That's just me. All right. So this is not adjustable. It is as you get it, as you see it, and it's a little bit grungy. So yeah. All right. And we're going to lather up. Check this out. I, this is also... I, I'm kind of grabbing the stuff I haven't used in a long time that just lives down here. It exists down here in the drawer. Foire ox schnog. Foire ox schnog. I'm sure that's perfect Gallic pronunciation. I don't know. Is that Irish? I can't remember. It's Scottish. Oh, heck. I don't know. This is when I used to, you know, be with Executive Shaving a long time ago. And they sent me this. It is a heavy glass jar, which is a little nerve-wracking. And then I'm going to use this Razo Rock clear, see-through, cool-looking uh, little synthetic brush just because I love that it's see-through. I love that. And I know I shouldn't. And I don't know why I'm going to. Uh, except for the fact that I haven't used it in a long time. And I know there's some sickos out there. There's some, uh, some people out there that like to see me suffer when it comes to my shaving, aftershave experiences. You know what I'm talking about? No, it's not, uh, it's not Osage Hammer. It's not, uh, any of those super mentholated ones. It's the one that gets me every time. It's that bad relationship that you love the person, but you just can't be with them. Chella Cool. I love the way this stuff smells. It smells like cherries and baby powder and almonds, but it stings something fierce. I think that somebody said there's like, it's like cinnamon oil or something. There's some sort of oil in here that does not agree with me, but you know what? We're going to shave with it anyway. Hey, we've got some heavy glass containers today. Check that out. Don't drop this on your toe, man. It will break it. Okay. Put some hot water on my face. I did shave yesterday, so this won't be anything, you know, too special. <laughs> Just your typical Friday shave. Now, I wouldn't recommend companies putting, uh, you know, slippery glass jars in the bathroom. Uh, the less of these, the less accidents, you know, because how many, nobody has carpeted bathrooms anymore, do they? I don't think so. I know. I mean, we have a carpet down. We have like a little rug down, but it's like a throw rug type thing. All right, I'm going to get this out of here. I can't remember how this stuff is. It's like... It's not hard and it's not real soft. It's like right in between. It's not as soft as Taylor of Old Bond Street and not as hard as some other ones. So I think that'd probably be okay. I think I need more water. Hmm, this stuff smells good. It is, oh yeah, Foire Ock Schnog stands for cold but nice. And that means there's a little bit of menthol in it. I think I need a little bit more water. Yeah, this stuff is that kind of, it's kind of like Taylor of Old Bond Street that a little bit goes a long way. And if you gum it up right off the bat, you might want to just wash your brush out and start again, just go easy, you know? Or you can just keep adding a bunch of <laughs> water to it and slop it all over the place like I am. Hey, you know, whatever floats your boat. All right, it's good stuff. Executive shaving over there, executive-shaving.co.uk. I don't think I'm in a partnership with them anymore because I haven't heard from them in a long time. And uh, I know that my contact guy left a couple of years ago, so there we go. All right, let's get the old 1956 Gillette red top. Look at that, still shimmering in the sunlight. 1956, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, I love shaving with history. Shaving with history with Sinatra Lennon. That goes for uh, famous figures throughout history. I've done a couple of things. I've done... Uh, JFK, the razor set that he used, that he left behind in England when his, I believe it was when his father was a, the ambassador 
to England, I believe, right before World War II. Anyway, he left his shaving set, so I found one on eBay a few years ago. Beautiful thing, check that out. I've shaved with razors that the Beatles like to use. There are pictures of them using this, this uh, European model white-handled safety razor. I couldn't get the shaving cream they had. I can't remember, it was like Colgate or something. But, uh, yeah, so shaving with history. I'm copywriting that right now. This serves as my copyright announcement. <laughs> In case I ever have a, uh, you know, on-demand Netflix show, you know, I'm going to have to have a title. Can't just call Sinatra Lennon on YouTube. That'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Like, visit the old, uh, vi first of all, visit, you know, the movers and shakers in the shaving world. You know, not only YouTube shavers like Ken Serfs and things like that, but... You know, the guys over at Razor Emporium who really do. I mean, they know their stuff there. They are the true pros. I'm just like a goofball that, you know, shaves and films himself talking. But the people over at Razor Emporium put out some really informative uh, shaving videos. And I did use their service a few years ago when I bought a fat boy that was a little bit bent up. Do you remember that? I actually ended up giving it away after I had it refurbished. But I had it re... It, like, had it fixed. And I don't remember if I had it replated. I guess I must have, but anyway, it was—it just didn't say it, it didn't shave right after that. And I've got—I'm lucky enough to have like what was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, six fat boys. Oh uh, yeah. Ooh, I got a little nick. Hey, I never get a nick over here on the first pass. Oh, see, he was feeling a little bit left out, and now he's letting me know. Let me throw this away. Okay, there's the first pass. It doesn't feel aggressive, even though it's a red tip. Still got a lot to go. Still got a lot of uh, whiskers to shave. But this stuff is nice. It's minty. It's creamy. They make good products over there. So if you're in the UK, I just learned about all that, by the way. I came across a YouTube video. I was like explaining the difference between Great Britain and the United Kingdom and, you know, you know all that stuff. So it was... That was something I'd never really thought about before. Because I told you, I'm a terrible... I'm worse at geography than I am at math. And that's that's saying a lot. All right, second pass. Let's go across. How's that Nick doing? Oh, it was right here on the edge. Oh, I think... I felt like there was like a zit there or something. You know, like a little bump. Maybe that's what I snagged on. Oh, that sounds gross. Sorry, I apologize for that. Ah. I just... I just love the, 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 the cool tingling sensation of menthol, you know, and, and now my youngest son is starting to, uh, enjoy when he's, when he's got a stuffy nose, he puts some mentholatum like on his upper lip and a little bit in his nostril, just like his grandma, just like me. But I've got the, uh, so me mentholatum, you know, it's like, a, I think it's petroleum jelly or something. I don't even know what the jelly's made out of. You know what I'm talking about. Now, outside of the U.S., I don't know if it's there, if it's something similar, but it's like petroleum jelly with a lot of menthol in it, obviously, mentholatum. It's supposed to open up your, you know, your nasal passages if you're feeling a little stuffy. So that was fine, but, you know, compared to me, an old menth head from way back, I need something a little, little more strong than that. So I got the, it's like the Vicks... Vapor Duo. I think I talked about this before. You know, I'm the, of course I probably did. I'm the only idiot on YouTube that talks about mentholated products all the time. Anyway, it's got uh, you know an inhaler. You shove it in your nostril and you go, and it kind of goes woo. And then on the other side, you know, it's good. It's a little oil. It's a little mentholated oil. So you dab a couple of things in your nostril and you get those eyes. So those are stronger, a lot stronger than the uh, mentholatum. So I'm hitting the hard stuff, folks. I've already gone through four of those things in the past year, so uh, it's become my nightly ritual after I... The kids are all put to bed, wife's going to bed, I get to stay up a little bit longer because I stay up longer. <laughs> and uh, I don't have to get up as early. I mean, I do, but I don't. You know what I mean? Makes sense. And uh, so I'll shave. Well, I won't shave. I'll, sh I'll uh, get dressed, get ready, put on my pajamas. I don't actually wear like full on pajamas or anything, but I'll put on my comfies as my wife calls them. Comfies, you know what I'm talking about? Just whatever that thing is that you put on for bedtime. You're just lounging around the house. You're not going anywhere and you're not hosting anybody. 
put on the comfies, brush my teeth, and then put some Vicks Vapo Vapor Duo or whatever. <laughs> why are you watching this video? Why, why am I making this video? What the heck? You seen these around yet? The Barbasol Jurassic Dominion cans? I've seen a bunch of them. If you follow me on Instagram, you can see I posted a picture of a bunch I saw. At the local HEB, along with the other ones. They have other ones that aren't like replicas, they just have dinosaurs on them, so that doesn't interest me very much. I'm not into dinosaurs. I never really was when I was a kid. I swear, when I was a kid, there was like three dinosaurs. T-Rex, Triceratops, and uh, Brontosaurus, even though there's not really a Brontosaurus. That was it in the 70s. That's all you got, and that's all we needed. <laughs> all right. Third pass with the Foire Ox Schnog. Can you feel it coming close? Keith Richards says, Look out, mate. I'm going to burn your face in a minute. Not a very good Keith Richards, but you know. I never pretended to be. I was in a Beatle band, not a Stones band. Come on. I can do the Beatles, you know, all day long. I love that sing songy thing that, you know, you, you know, over there in the, the Scousers, Liverpool, along the Mersey. I've sat along the Mersey River before. I've sat there with a blinding hangover after drinking too many pints of cider down the cavern and the jacaranda where I played, they had an open mic night at the jacaranda, which is this place the Beatles played in uh, Liverpool when they were coming up in the world. So I think I sang uh, Don't Let Me Down, I think. That's like my favorite, that's like my party piece, you know what I mean? Like if you go to a party, if you play you know, piano or something, you, you have one song in your hip pocket that's like, I know it dead to rights, I know all the words, I know how to sing it and make it sound interesting and Don't Let Me Down is mine. Because I kind of slow it down and make it kind of groovy and sultry. Yeah, right, sultry, me, uh-huh. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Did that, I almost said, did that leak stop? Yeah, did that leak stop? I got some leaks. <laughs> it did, that nick stopped. So it must have been really a little minor thing. Hey, this is a good uh, razor. I don't think these are very expensive. I got this off eBay. I don't even know how much I spend for it. Not very much. But you can find these all over the place. You can see, this is like the most common vintage razor that I see in antique stores when there's like, got a bin full of this and like gem single edge razors, which I'm like, ugh, I don't want anything to do with those. But uh, yeah, so you see these all the time. And you know, they're 10, $15 depending. Because they're not really in demand, but they're good. And if you're interested in kind of breaking into using vintage safety razors, like I did many, many years ago now, it seems, then that's a good entry point for that. Doesn't cost too much. It's already lasted this long, obviously, 1956 to 2022. You do the math. That's a lot of years, folks. That's a lot of years. And as always, I always wonder, who was the guy that bought this? Who's the guy that went down to the, the Woolworths store? Who went down to the, the TG&Y, the Wins, uh, whatever grocery store or, you know, wherever he went. Who was he? He walked in and was like, I need to get a razor. Interesting. I don't know. I wish I could tell. I wish I could know those things. All right. Let's feel the problem areas. I already kind of went over them a little bit, but I still feel problems. That just means hair that, you know, grows in these. Uh, no matter how many directions I get it in, the first three passes, I never get it. So I just go back in, feel around. It's easier to feel when, you're, uh, when your skin's wet, so put a little light sheen of water on your, on your face. And then that'll also cushion you in case you want to do what I'm doing, which is just kind of a dry blade. As old Charles uh, Roberts used to say, a dry blade reduction. He was a crazy, crazy genius and a good guy. All right. That's it, folks. Let's wash off cold water. Oh, no. You know what? That cella cool. I can tell I went a little too, too many passes on the chin right here. Get ready. Because if you've ever seen me use this stuff before, you know that it's a burn. It's not like a normal alcohol burn. That I can handle. This one, something totally different because the oil in it uh, does something to my skin. So I probably shouldn't use it, but <laughs> it just smells too good. So, sorry, it's from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Phoenix, 
Phoenix Shaving Chella Cool. Mm. Oh, there it is. There it is. I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Because it's like, it's like a tingly sharp burn, you know, all over. Now it's up here. It's gone from here. It's a little bit down here and it's just lingering now. And now it's starting to fade. But it smells good. It smells like baby powder, cherry blossom, you know, marzipan. It just smells so good. Hey, uh, Phoenix Shaving, if you're out there, would you make a version of that uh, without the oil that you put in it that makes me burn? Just have it smell like it does and then put me on there? That's my request. All right, everybody. I think that's it. Let me take a look here. Yeah. Oh, so smooth. Hey, that's a good little razor. Well, you bit me, but you didn't, you didn't do me too bad. You didn't do me wrong. So thank you for that. I'm putting you back in the drawer now. So what I do is for these, when I know I'm not going to use it anymore... Or, you know, not for a while. I'll just pop the... Hey, great blade, too. That big blade. Solid. Solid stuff. I forgot it wasn't a feather. Very good job. So what I do is I just lay this... Like, I have all these razors, like, lined up side by side because I'm anal retentive that way. And I just lay it across two of them, like this. So it dries, and it's not getting, you know, the edges aren't touching too much stuff so that it remains sharp. And then I just let this sit... Sitting on the counter like that, you know, with the blade open or the, uh, the butterfly wings open. And, you know, you could, you could hit it with a toothbrush and some soap and clean it off, but I'm just going to let it be grungy. Let it be. Let it be. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Have a great weekend. Let me know if you want to see something in particular. I still, here's what I got left from the Willy box. I'm saving the best for last. Now, I still don't think I want to use this. I still don't think so. But then don't forget, we got the SR71 slant razor. And then we got this gorgeous copper one. I think this will be the one I saved for last. It's just too beautiful. Go back and watch the unboxing if you want to see what they look like. I'm not going to take them out right now. But thanks for joining me, everybody. Leave a comment. I read every single one of them. Even if I can't respond to all of them, I read all of them. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. See you soon. Bye.